back with another video, man. I'm on another long, another long uh, drive, about 15 minute drive. So I'm gonna um, split that video into two. This is part two of the last video that I made. And back to what I was saying about uh, being on your purpose and being competitive because there's other men that are using their economy to make to make sure you don't compete in this world. That's why you see a lot of the stuff going up. Uh, the, that's why you see a lot of the of the um, the cost of living going up. You know what I'm saying? The cost of living is going up to keep a certain group of people from competing in the world mainly average people you know people who make um, average wages uh, average income like the middle class and stuff like that the middle class cannot become successful and make it up to the rich class if everything is super expensive so you got average people that are under attack, average men that are under attack mainly. Average men are been under attack for for the last decade. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here thinking about all this stuff, you know, and I came to my own conclusion that if we don't self-improve as average men, because I am around average, even though I'm slightly above average because I work out, I keep my body fit, you know what I'm saying? I'm muscular, you know what I'm saying? And I still get choosing signals everywhere I go. But if we don't get our shit together, we talking about a long life of not getting pussy. That's what you're dealing with right now. You're dealing with evil men that want to keep you from self-improving, keep you uh, from getting in the in the uh, competitive world. It's like being um, in a league with no rules. Like you got one team over here that's trying to sabotage the other team. You know what I'm saying? So they could be the winners. But there's no rules out here. You know what I'm saying? If you in a league where there's no rules and you try to play fair, guess what? You're not going to win. You know what I'm saying? The other team is hacking you, fouling you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, doing what they want. Taking your girlfriends and stuff. The chicks that you want. You know what I'm saying? To keep your mind out of the game. Anything to keep you from being distracted. You catch my drift? Anything from... Anything uh, to keep you from being in a competitive mind state so you won't get the pussy. That's what it's about, man. It's all about pussy. And that's why they're not taking the day naps away, man. They're not going to... You know why? Because it favors women and the manginas and the Captain Saber hoes who invented these apps, they all in the favor of women. They want women to have the best out of life you know what I'm saying so they can get the best out of life you know women are very easy to control so if I can create an app that I have women going after nothing but the Chads and Tyrones, I can I can get all the pussy. I can make a lot of money. 
Because the, the thing is, the dating apps don't favor men. It, it doesn't. It favors women. It benefits women. That's it. That's all who benefit from the dating apps out of the sexes are women. If I can invent an app that will favor women, I can make a whole lot of money because women are easier to control than men. You know what I'm saying? This is how they take food off of other men's plates. This is how they take pussy off of other men's plates. And if you don't get into this race, they call it the rat race or whatever, if you don't get into a competitive mind state, forever you will suffer in the dating market and in life in general. You know, Kelcat going to have to start being more business minded. I got to stop doing things for free. That's my problem. I'm giving information to you guys for free. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm in a bad spot in my life also. Yeah, I'm getting more choosing signals and I'm getting a few sex uh, sessions every now and then, but that's not helping anything. So I'm going to start uploading new videos on my other channel. I'm just going to just go ahead and start uploading probably uh, this weekend. So I can start making money off that channel. You know. And motivating other people to get in shape and to uh, uh, make the make their lives better so they won't be suffering either my thing is you have to reverse what your single mother taught you okay single mother taught you not to compete don't do it it's bad for you what are you competing for you know single mothers are very negative most of them for the most part because they've been sheltered themselves so how are they going to teach their son how to survive in a world in a in a world where only the strong survive only the stronger men will pass their genetic legacy that's why if you ain't got looks you gotta have brains I'm telling you man you have to work your brain and believe in yourself if you don't got looks you gotta be smart you know the chihuahua and the little town tiny dogs they're the smartest dogs in the world why those pit bulls and those Chad looking dogs, those Chad looking dogs, they dumb as hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all Chads and Tyrones are dumb, but they don't have to like rely on money to get women. They don't really have to self-improve in their young years. The only time a Chad or Tyrone starts to start to uh, self-improve. And when he, it's when he started losing his looks toward women. Like when he hit 28, 29, 30 years old, he noticed that his looks are losing or leaving. And he said, okay, I, I got to go to school because these looks are not going to be around forever. It gets harder and harder to attract women with just looks as you age. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing with my life right now. Okay, I have a, a Chad friend. Once he hit 29, he noticed he, hey, he started losing his looks, he said. I'm not lying. I still talk to him from time to time. He's 32 now, or 31 or something like that. And he noticed that his looks are diminishing. Because it starts around 30. Depending on, you know, if you had a good life and you stayed away from alcohol. Like, if you stayed away from alcohol, your looks will decline slowly. 
or slower than usual. But he uh, noticed that, hey, I'm not going to be able to pull bitches like this as I age. You know what I'm saying? I might as well get ready and go to school now. Now he's becoming uh, one of those uh, para, uh, para, paramedic guys. You know what I'm saying? The paramedics, uh, I think it was, a, uh, no, no, he said he wanted to be a, a, a firefighter or something like that. I think it was a firefighter, yeah. So he was going, uh, you know, school for that and shit. Because he know that, hey, once he hit that 35 mark, it's not going to be that easy to pull women. Now you're going to need a little bit of resources to entice these broads. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I get telling you guys, you got to like erase the thought of it being hard in your mind. Just go for it. If you if you want to go to school and stuff like that, just go for it. Just, just start taking classes. It ain't nothing but school, man. It ain't nothing, you know, it's just going there to better yourself so you can have a better chance at survival, you know, and passing your genetic legacy to the next generation. Because you don't want these females to get the last laugh on you. I knew he was a bum. <laughs> he wouldn't. He couldn't go to school. He couldn't better himself. That bum. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't want these females to get the last laugh. You want to eventually get the last laugh in the end, man. You know what I'm saying? School, schooling will go by quick. Two, two or three years, four years will go by really quickly. And you'll be proud in the end because then you'll be able to buy whatever you want when you go to the store. Then you start buying luxury items and stuff like that because you got a really good job, you know. And then you'll uh, be able to go into POF and gladly put your your status up to a master uh, degree or or or, or uh, put whatever you do for your occupation. You know what I'm saying? You know. And you can you can compete with other males now. Now you a competitor. When you become uh, successful with with money in your pocket, but I gotta go. You guys have a good day. Stay competitive, man. Get out of that lazy mindset. Get out and do something, man. Because time waits for no man. And a lot of men are happy, unhappy because they made a lot of bad choices in life. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like in the comments. Smash that like button. Please give me more likes. Promote this channel. All right. Have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button and click the notification bell button. I'm out.